You're watching Epilepsy Day 2014 here at Disneyland in California at the Magic Castle. What you're about to see is some really great interviews and some glimpses into how the day came together. How have you handled uh, your seizures? Has, uh, have you found any, uh, has that people um, given you any discrimination from it? Oh, my friends. I've lost like a lot of my friends. Like they, like my water polo friends, they've like moved on and everything. Like in college, my first year when I played with Fullerton, um, that's when I started having my seizures at the end of state because we won state. And um, that's when I started having my seizures, like at the end. And um, I told my coach that I couldn't play anymore because of my seizures. And they went on to the second year and they just stopped talking to me and whatnot and it really hurt my feelings. So that's kind of sucks. So I pretty much lost all my friends. And your job. Lost yeah, I lost my job and my license and everything. So it kind of sucks. <laughs> so how do, you, how do you handle life now? Um, I handle it good. I'm happy. I'm like, happy feel lucky like everything's good now I was like in like depressed mode but like I've gone through everything life so much well like my mom has helped me through everything pretty much so I'm pretty much like I've been like at my lowest and now I'm like at my highest yeah. so uh, Milan, uh tell me your story about epilepsy Hi, um, I, uh, I had my first seizure when I was 11 years old and I was diagnosed uh, with epilepsy at 16 years old and I had somewhat a normal life until 28 years old and at 28 I started to have, so I was like having maybe one seizure a year so it was like kind of normal, I mean somewhat normal and then I started to have more and more seizures and my life just changed dramatically at that point and I just um, I was having uh, maybe I don't know hundreds uh, seizures a month and uh, everything got much worse and uh, I had to adapt my life and uh, I did and uh, I have a great boyfriend who helped me when going through that and um, my medication had been very heavy on me and uh, I am uh, I'm getting a little better right now. It's, uh... So tell me your epilepsy uh, story and journey. I've had epilepsy since I was six years old and she's been, she had started out with absent seizures and about 11 years old turned into the grand mal seizures. Um, she was on Depakote for quite a long time. Um, now that she's older and hitting puberty, the medication's not working as well, so we have her now trying out a new drug, and it's been doing good so far. Um, she had a spiral downhill for, you know, a couple months, but I think she's getting back on track and she's getting better, so. Tell me about Robert's history of epilepsy. Yeah, Robert is 27 years old right now, and he has had seizures since he was two years old. Uh, he started with febrile seizures with a with a fever, and that's they told us he was never going to have a seizure after his first couple of fever ones, and then he went on to have more seizures without. So he was pretty well controlled and didn't affect his quality of life too much until about his sophomore year in high school. He actually was uh, in a 99 percentile in SAT and math, and he played varsity soccer his freshman year in high school. And then after that, his seizures progressed and got worse and medication side effects made it very hard for him. Um, so he had to be home, homeschooled or on home study after that. Uh, later on, actually just not too long ago in 2012, we found out that he has an SCN1A mutation. So he's on the Dravet syndrome spectrum. And so uh, we, we pretty much just uh, uh, try to keep life, uh, keep him happy. And we try to do things each day that, you know, just keep living. So. Robert couldn't, he went to college for a semester and then the, he started having status seizures and after that he just, he just couldn't keep up anymore. So, so now we do a lot of epilepsy awareness. <laughs> How are you, Robert? Are you okay? Good. And Tom, how are you? 
I'm doing well today, thank you. Yeah, this is a great event here at Disneyland. It's pretty amazing the second year. It seems like it's getting bigger and better. Pretty awe-inspiring, actually, see all the purple.